two officers of the Molina Police Department saw a vehicle that had tinted windows and flashing red and blue lights. The car also had a ghost tag. Based on those observations, the officers decided to pull over the vehicle. Upon stopping, the driver stormed out of the vehicle without being told to do so. He walked up angrily towards the officers before they even exited their patrol vehicle. The driver turned out to be Zebulon Police Chief Jonathan Hemphill. Before we continue, let me shout out to Eleven Alive for sharing this video on their YouTube channel. No, yeah, no, sir. Uh, the reason why we're stopping you is well, because of the window tent violation. I blinked my blue lights at you to let you know who I was. Yes, sir. Well, we didn't know with it, you know, that's not a government tag. That so is an, that is an unofficial tag. Okay. That, that tag's not even on file. I see. Yes. Yeah, well, we have to catch up to be able to run it and everything like that, sir. So, so I won't blink my blue lights at you next time. I'll let well, you just sit there. I was just speaking. I'm the police chief in Zebra. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Matt, Matt Polk worked for me. Your chief work for me. Yes, sir. There's no need to get upset. I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset because I spoke to you when I come by, and now you're pulling me sir, over. Sir, I've never met you, damn. I, I understand Why that. Why are you being hostile? Well, easy. I don't. I don't have to talk to you. Okay. I'm not. I'm not talking to you. Why are you being hostile right we're, now? Y'all are y'all gonna write me a ticket? Are you gonna write me a ticket? Sir, we're just trying. I'm the police chief in Devon. Do you want to write me a ticket? Why are you coming up to me like that? I'm doing my job. From the beginning, Chief Hemphill exhibited behaviors that showed he was very confrontational and usually looked down on his subordinates. Whenever someone is pulled over for a traffic stop, there are some behaviors expected to ensure the driver's safety and those of the officers. First, you should not step out of the car and approach the officer. You must remain in the vehicle and do nothing to make the officer nervous. In the landmark Supreme Court case, Pennsylvania v. Mims, 1977, the court cited a 1963 study titled Police Officer Shootings, a Tactical Evaluation. That study concluded that approximately 30% of police shootings occurred when a police officer approached a suspect seated in an automobile. Due to that study, the Supreme Court recognized the inordinate risk confronting an officer as he approaches a person seated in an automobile during a routine traffic stop. The court held that under the Fourth Amendment, officers are lawfully permitted to order a driver out of his vehicle. Also, in another landmark Supreme Court case, Terry v. Ohio, 1968, the court concluded that under the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, a police officer may stop a suspect if the police officer has a reasonable suspicion that the person has committed, is committing, or is about to commit a crime, and may be armed and presently dangerous. Based on these two cases, during any traffic stop and for safety concerns, only the officer can order the driver out of the vehicle or remain inside of it. Routine traffic stops can quickly escalate into violent and deadly encounters if the driver disregards this ordinance. Clearly, in this video, Chief Hempel had no regard for his safety and those of the officers when he angrily walked towards them without being told to do so. As he rudely addressed the female officer, he was informed that the traffic stop was due to his tinted windows and flashing lights. The dispatcher also told the officers that the tag was invalid. Are you writing me a ticket? Yes or no? I'm oh, you're writing me a ticket. I'm fixing to leave. Do you have a driver's license? Sure, I have my driver's license. I'm fixing to, to, to make it a whole lot more. Your boss works. 11 11. I'm out here with Bill Dunaway. Insurance, Just for careering, Bravo Frank Mike 1175 BFM 1175. Yeah, sir, as I was explaining. I don't want to hear that from you. Okay. You let her do her job. 28 returns to a 2001 Dodge Ram truck, black in color to Machine Construction Company out of Loserville. It doesn't come back to that vehicle.
about bringing your driver's license All back right. up. That's yeah. Uh, first one we ran the, the tag, it came back to like a Dodge Ram, so we're just it's confirming this. Yes, sir. It's, it's a ghost tag. Yes, sir. We're making sure you're back with that tag. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're just... You must have run it wrong. You must have run it wrong because you want to come back to a Dodge Ram. We, we were confirmed it. They, they let us know everything. So, so it's still coming back to a Dodge Ram now? Sir, can, can I ask why are you so uh, upset? Is it still coming back to a Dodge Ram now? No, we, we got it fixed. Why are you so upset? No, you didn't fix it. Did, is it still uh, coming back to a Dodge Ram right now? No, it came back not on five. That's right. Because okay. you run it wrong. Sir. Somebody about, run it wrong. Either to, you did or they did. We're about to get the information. Okay. And get I got your to chief you. on the phone right now. That's yes, fine. I That's fine. That's fine. Can you calm down for us, please? I appreciate your service. I appreciate okay. your service. All right. I'm just saying, I spoke to you guys. I didn't have to do that. Sir. I could have eased on by y'all. I appreciate the job y'all out here doing. Chief, I I'm trying to be respectful with you. I understand okay? that. I understand I'm not, that. I'm not raising my voice enough. I understand that. To you, right? I understand All that. All right. Let's but I'm trying to let's tell you, the one only okay. thing I'd done wrong was spoke. Y'all never would have pulled me over if I hadn't flicked my blue lights No, sir. You. No, we were going to pull you over. Actually. No, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm no, telling you straight up. Okay. Okay. All right. Like I said, you know, there's people out here in person state police officer with blue lights. Or you threw my or she before. threw my license if she is getting them for me. She'll bring it to you, sir. Okay, well that's fine. I'm just trying to I'm trying to talk with you. I don't want to talk anymore about it. All righty. According to Georgia Code, section 40-8-73.1, subsection B, it shall be unlawful for any person to operate a motor vehicle in this state which has material and glazing applied or affixed to the front windshield which when so applied or affixed reduce light transmission through the windshield, or which has material and glazing applied or affixed to the rear windshield or the side or door windows, which when so applied or affixed reduce light transmission through the windshield or window to less than 32%, plus or minus 3%, or increase light reflectance to more than 20%. However, subsection C7 of this statute further explained that the provisions of subsection B shall not apply to any law enforcement vehicle. As we can all see in this video, the vehicle driven by Chief Hemphill didn't follow this statute. His ghost tag also didn't identify him as a law enforcement officer. So, the two officers had reasonable articulable suspicion to pull him over. Though, as a chief of police, he had the right to have tinted windows and flashing blue lights on his vehicle. However, the rude manner in which he handled the encounters didn't allow the officers to resolve their suspicions amicably. After confirming his license, the officers allowed him to go without any citation. That's very unprofessional. Overall, Chief Hemphill demonstrated one of the rudest behaviors that a law enforcement officer could exhibit. He is not above the law and should be adequately punished if he violates any law he was supposed to uphold. Well, that's all concerning this video. Thanks for watching.